Hey everyone, you got Joe, Isaias, and Irfan here from The Automator, and I'm really, really excited to uh, announce this tool today we have. It's called the Ultimate Spy. So make sure you stick around to the end because you're going to absolutely love it. Normally I don't go crazy on it, but this is this is the one. Like this is the thing we've all been waiting for. I know we have. Like it's really cool. So as I've mentioned in other videos, we're aware of 19 ways to automate programs. And our Discovery Spy, which we released, it it does it's like the same one you're looking at here. It it'll tell you the things that are available. And in that list, we have I think eight different technologies, like the Win32 menus and status bars and image search or calm or using Refadium on a browser, um, ACC UIA and send and post messages. Um, it tells you that these are available and gives you our score of how hard it is to program with them. That's all fine and good. It's really helpful if you're trying to understand how do I automate this program? This tool, this tool rocks because now you can get quick access to other tools. Once you identify that technology, you can switch to an inspection tool to say, well, let me let me try to discover around with that tool. Now, of course, you're going to have to know what you're doing, right? But for a lot of us, like this is great. Why don't you start demonstrating it? Guys? Right. So I just drag and drop into any program or window, and I can tell which interfaces I could use to automate it based on simplicity. The higher the simplicity, the better for me because it is easy to do. Things like dealing with messages or UIA might be a little bit more complex, but hey, I know what I'm doing with UIA. I want to use it. I need now the UIA inspector to actually get to automating this thing. Uh, previously, you would have to go ahead and use, look for the UIA inspector, have it on your computer and so on. This one is not like that. Once it tells you, hey, you have UIA, it also allows you, and this is the cool thing, it gives you a list of the inspectors so if I go ahead and go back here and click on UIA inspector like this, it just launches the viewer, the UIA viewer, which now allows me to start capturing for this window. And now I got the information that I need. This is so cool because I don't have to worry about having the inspector and so on. It, it, it Both things are in one place. It, the one, The first one, which is the discovery, allows me to see what I can do. But this one at the bottom, which is the ultimate spy tool, it just lists all the viewers that I have around to actually get the data that I need to automate. So, uh, for example, let's go ahead and uh, look at a, a different uh, viewer. Let's close this one. And if I open up my tool, my AutoHotKey toolkit, and I go ahead and drag in it, I see that I have the Win32 menu available to me to automate certain parts of this program, I say like, great. Now I can jump into my all menu syntax writer, which not only allows me to see the menu, let's go ahead and open it, not only allows me to see what the menu looks like, this is my full menu, but also allows me to get the code for it. Um, if I double click, for example, it copies to the clipboard what is the code to automate that menu. So it is great. And the fact that you have all of them here makes it so cool. Um, now, also, tell me something, Joe. Is the Windows Pi here the the normal one, the, the original one? No, of course. We we took a Algamist version of the Windows Pi tool because that one does so much more, right? Those, okay, yeah. Yeah, those messages, like, alone, it's very cool that you can discover those and, and and send them to the control you're trying to automate or whatever thing you're trying to do. All right. So I can so, activate the app or so on. And so it gives you the list and also sending it to the program to see if it works. That's right. cool. Yeah. And then the styles, I think for you guys working with GUIs. Sit here. Right. So I could probably drag it on this guy. The Win32 ones, right? I think. Well, that's a good question. Let me open up Notepad, for example. Yeah, the new version. If I could, I don't think that is only for, oh, yeah, okay. so Notepad, because Which, it's a normal window. Right. Probably I don't have controls on them, but I can see if it is visible, if it is a child, if it has tap stops. This one doesn't have tap stops and so on. So it's really cool because uh, Irfan and I recently had a run into a very annoying problem exactly with this tool. And we had to go and take a look at the styles that the windows have to be able to figure it out. So having a tool that gives you that is great. But that's the cool thing. You don't have to think about it. You have them all there. Now, the thing that you have to do is 
know that's what you want. Launch your Notepad as an admin. All right. So this. The launch- so the the you know we're borrowing from other people's work, right? In this, we we built ours to wrap it all together, and our discovery tool is really cool. But we're using the inspectors from other tools. But our inspectors are a little bit better because we tell you, hey, that program you're trying to automate, it's being run as an admin mode. You need to make sure that, you know, when you try to automate it, you run as an admin. Even the UIA and ACC. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Like, even the UIA and ACC, they so, have been modified right. to try to tell you that yeah. they are in admin mode. So, in any case, that is not in the original version. No, but, but we, we talked to Descalada. He, he really liked the idea of going, yeah, he saw the value. Right, definitely. All right. This is our, check out our automator spy. So the, this is our version of the regular one spy, which we love once you get used to it. It's far right. more easier to use. Right. This is just like regular Windows Pi, but it's sorted in a different way, and it gives you a little bit more space for the text, the visible text and the status bar text uh, that we usually lack that in the original Windows Pi that comes without a hotkey because they're all kind of like in a vertical column but this is great and now you have all the data and you can yeah. copy the data very quickly into your clipboard as well but it also doesn't automatically every second right you have to hit down hold control and then it updates it which is to me a much more intuitive way i want to do that right very cool and then the cool thing is that you can switch between them very easily, you just click on the next one, and now you have the next inspector. So I Actually, want to verify my com yeah. in my computer and so on. That's it. And then show what happens if you close the hit the top right because that might be a little unexpected. Right. Like, so oh, basically, God. yeah. Right now, the ultimate spy. Remember that it is not connected to each individual spy. It is kind of like a manager, something to switch between back and forth between them. But once you click an inspector, it goes back to the original discovery tool, if that is. But now if I close the discovery tool, then the ultimate spy also closes. So it is kind of like the main tool that we have is the discovery tool. And then from there, you can switch between them if you want to. Yeah, so I I, I view this as being a, a really great tool. A, because just like in the discovery tool, I can now point people in the right direction. They can point themselves and understand, oh, I should. I need to learn about Calm, or I need to learn about UIA, or I need to learn the status bar text, right? Like, And we give them a scale of like how, kind of how difficult it's going to be. So depending on your skill level, you might say, maybe I'll contact the automator because that's using UIA and I don't want to deal with that, <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, so like the video if you learned something here. Go grab the script. It's at theautomator.com slash ultimate spy. Um, I'll put the URL up here and in the description of the video. But thank you so much for watching. We'd love to hear if you think there there should be some other inspectors in there. Let us know. Uh, we we put down the the low hanging fruit ones. Maybe we'll try to add some more later. We like I said, we know nineteen ways to automate programs. I think we have eight listed in there. They're the eight most common ones, though, right? Like it's the ones we go to most of the time. Yeah, that's correct. All right, well, thank you. Cheers. Bye.